Welcome back to Introduction to Computer Programming using C++. What we're going to go over today is using comments, the main function, and program structure and how to program, how to structure your program accordingly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a project, which is very easy. You're going to go into File, then you're going to go into New, and then you're going to go into Project. Once you have this selected, you're going to go into console application because you just want to create a program for console applications only. We're just going to be doing that in this course. Uh, we're not going to be doing Windows applications or any type of DLLs or static libraries. Once you have that, make sure that this is on, which is which says C++ project. And you can name your project whatever you want. So I'm going to name this comments for my project name and then click OK and it's gonna prompt you to save it somewhere usually what it's gonna what's gonna happen is it's gonna put it right underneath where you installed bloodshed dev CPP what you wanna do is you wanna select the folder dev CPP if you're not there already and you should really list all your project files here it really depends on where you wanna put it uh, I usually put it under dev CPP so what I'll do is I'll create a comments project uh, and the project files are all extension.dev. So what happens is the project file is going to unite all your C++ files together. Now what does that mean? It means that when you write a program, for this course, we're mainly going to be sticking to one CPP file. But as you go through other courses, or if you decide to take C++2, my other C++ course, we may have to build additional CPP files and you need a way to link them together so that you can refer them back to one universal file for your project. So that's where these project files come from. So you'll have one project file and you may have one CPP file or multiple CPP files. A CPP file is basically just your source. So I'm going to save this as comments.dev and you see dev cp c++ project file so you click on save and now you have this template that you can use for writing your actual program and let me just explain to you what's going on here this is your default libraries that are going to be used and I will explain later why you need IO stream and CD CTDSD lib and using namespace std also something that I can explain uh, as the lectures go on but in, in a nutshell std is called a namespace and this allows you to use certain objects that are within the IO stream library such as cout and cin okay your main function is your main point of entry for any program so what happens is when you execute your program and you can first of all you're gonna compile it and then it's gonna be executed once you execute your program the first point of entry that it enters is the main function once it goes into the main function it's gonna execute your code line by line but what I want to talk about today and that's just a little bit of overview of the main function now you have many functions you can have many functions in your program meaning that you don't only have to have a main function you can have another sub function or subroutines within your C++ program we're not going to be writing functions in this course I'd like to get all the fundamentals in and then you can write functions in C++ too and I, I go over functions pointers and go into a little bit of classes now in the main function there's code that is recognized by the compiler and there's code that may not be recognized by the compiler but how do we differentiate differentiate very easy to differentiate in your main function you can do a double slash for comments so I can say this is a comment and what will happen is when you compile and, and run this program the compiler will ignore any lines that have that double dash think of this as a note that you can put in your code to remind you of certain things when you write certain uh, lines of code 
the other thing you can do is you can use a forward slash star to comment out code meaning that once it's it's gonna comment out a group of lines together so what happens is you see how this all turned a little bit of blue what that means is now this whole section is commented out what the way what you can do is you can close this together so you would do star forward slash so now this whole section here is commented out the other thing I want to go over aside from the comments because that's very easy the comments you can put anywhere you can put comments up here you can put comments up here the other thing I want to go over is in the main function you're gonna have an open squiggly bracket and then a close squiggly bracket this is called the body of the main function what happens in C++ is when you have functions or blocks of code uh, with with some keywords you have to have an opening bracket and a closing bracket this tells a compiler that this is a block of code and to execute this block of code depending if it's a branching statements or if it's a function branching will go over in this course later on and you'll see how you can use the bracket the open brackets and close brackets to group a line of and what we're, we're calling this is a, a group of compound statements that's the the real term for it you have a group of compound statements or you have a function open and close bracket and that's that's what your main function is composed of so once you write your code within here let me uncomment this you can write your code within here within the opening bracket and the close bracket and that this is where it will execute your actual program the one thing also I want to go over is program structure. When you're writing a program, there's three simple things you need to remember. You're always going to have input, you're going to have process, and you're going to have output. What does that mean? Input are going to be your variable declarations that you're going to put always in the beginning. Then you're going to have your process section where you're just going to process the actual calculations if you're going to do an addition program or a subtraction program and then the output so if you need to display the answer somewhere to the console to the screen then this is where you would do your output commands again your program should be structured in such a way where initially you're going to have an input section then you're going to have a process section and then you're going to have an output section and what I like to do is I actually like to label everything so that we're aware of what's what so I can say input I can do that then I can say process and anything below that would be my process section and then anything below output would be my output section now does it mean that every program has to have each of these components no it doesn't this is just the Alex Louis method other people may teach you differently or if you go to the college or you're taking a course in college they may teach you a little bit differently I just found this this is the best way in my experience to divide and conquer a problem and trying to take that problem write an algorithm and create an actual program for example we can write our first program and say in hello world so see out hello world and the end line now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile and run. So I'll go to execute and then do compile and run. The first time it's going to prompt you to actually save the CPP file, which is your source file. What I would do is I would just rename this to comments.cpp. And again, this is the CPP file that's part of your project, which remember had a different extension, which was the .dev, .dev file. Uh, again, your CPP stands for C++ is just basically a text file, source file that's going to be fed into your compiler and it's going to be turned into object code and then later on linked into executable code. I can save this, it's got to save it, and there you go. Hello world in the console. Pretty neat, pretty neat. So again, if you're getting a little bit impatient, don't. We're going step by step. And remember, every little bit of every day, we're going to improve better and better.
thank you so much. I will see you in the next lecture.